You're watching WDEF News 12 this morning with Rachel Ash, meteorologist Brian Smith, and your time saver traffic tracker with Sunny 92.3's James Howard. Welcome to another edition of House Chat, where we answer your question that you submit to housechatwith2ts.com or at WDEF.com. I'm Matt Hollander, and today we're going to attempt to answer Susan's question from Hickson. So let's go to our first question. Susan asks, my husband and I are looking at replacing the lighting in our home. What type of lighting do you recommend to conserve energy cost? Good question, Susan. I've asked uh, a couple of guests to come help me. This is Elise Gilchrist and Jimmy Bethune from Ferguson Enterprises. And uh, let's start with Elise. What type of lighting can Susan look for to conserve energy? Well, one of the first places people tend to look is in the fluorescent realm. I know people have been afraid of that before. We're doing a better job. One thing you have to watch out for is that you use the proper fluorescent bulbs in the proper places. The spiral bulbs are better for lamps and things like that as long as they don't have silk shades because the UV will damage your shade. Don't want to put these in recessed cans. There are fluorescent lamps that are made to go into the fluorescent cans. Certain ones are dimmable. Just definitely have to look out for quality. Pick a warm white if that's the color temperature you're looking for. So this is the same efficiency as this one. It just looks better and fits the can. Yes, okay. and the ballast is strong enough to hold up to the heat up in the can yes. and, and last the life that is stated on the box. Okay. Um, and then everyone's been hearing a lot about LED lights. Um, this is a wonderful one, the, uh, the DOE's uh, award a couple of years ago for um, solid state lighting. You take your trim and your bulb out of your recessed unit and you put it up inside the can itself. Um, beautiful color temperature, nice color rendering, um, and it uses 10.5 watts as opposed to 65 or 75 watt bulb you would be using and is fully dimmable. So it is uh, for a remodel situation, not just new construction. It can go either way, uh-huh, and, and it, it lasts 40,000 hours, okay. 40 to 50,000, which is about 23 years residentially. Wow, great. Um, LEDs are also coming into the realm of retrofit lamps for other fixtures you might have in your house. And one of the nicest things that's available now is um, a wet location LED retrofit bulb that can go in your eaves so you can stay off of those high ladders. An added benefit is most bugs can't see LEDs, so you won't have the bugs swarming around your outdoor lights. They're nice as far as your landscape lights that are available in LED now that are nice colors, not the little blue things you saw a couple of years ago. So, so a lot of uh, options. For exterior lights or interior, I know they're uh, somewhat more expensive, but I assume if they last 23 years, they're going to be That's right. You're going to see a pretty quick payback depending on how many hours a day you use them. You can see this unit as, as well as several others on display at the Ferguson's showroom over on Amnicola. Okay. Um, and they can help guide you as far as kind of the what not to do's okay. with the LEDs and the fluorescents as well because there there are some bad product out there on the market so you have to you have to be careful and work with someone that's knowledgeable now Jimmy um, I know you can use these lights in a ceiling fan but for the ceiling fan itself what are our options to conserve energy right <clears throat> there's now an, uh, a wide array of energy star fans uh, indoor as well as outdoor um, they conserve energy um, also you don't have to sacrifice your look or your style of your fan any longer uh, it, it, earlier on there was a very limited selection of what you could get in the Energy Star, but now it's wide open, and uh, we do um, we do display uh, several of those on our showroom. So the Fanimation, which I know they make good, really good looking fans, there's several they can look at at your showroom on Amnicola. Yes, uh, we have, um, gosh, well over half of their SKUs, I guess, in our showroom hanging that they can come in and see anytime. Sounds great. So. Um, how do we get a hold of you, or what, what is the website where we can look at these products? Okay, it's www.ferguson.com, or you can visit us at our showroom on Amnicola Highway. Okay, sounds great. Well, hopefully that answered Susan's questions. And if you have uh, questions or topics you would like to discuss, or if you'd like to be a guest on House Chat, visit housechat.com, or you can go to wdf.com, and we'll see you next Monday.